All right. Yeah. Thank. Thank you. Bye bye. Well, you won't believe that. What's that? I'm going over uh, the credit card. Yeah. Charges. Yeah. Uh, they think this the card might have been stolen. What? Yeah. Uh, what do you check mean? The, well, check this out. See, Monday, the charge, Dollar Tree. Yeah. Tuesday, Dollar Tree. Yeah. Wednesday, Dollar Tree. Yeah. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Dollar Tree. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now, yeah. Now look at that Monday that comes after. No Dollar Tree. Was that this Monday past? This past Monday. They think that's the day the card was stolen because there's no Dollar Tree charge. All right. So this makes sense. I got this card from the Dollar Tree and it says, Dear Shelby, hope you are well. Didn't see you Monday. <laughs> <laughs> tree finds that I have for you today are not going to disappoint. The Dollar Tree is just so incredible right now and that makes me so happy because sometimes this is kind of the time of year where it slows down a little bit. You know, they did all their patriotic summer decor and now before mid-August hits and all of the fall decor comes out it can be a little bit quiet but is it no the dollar tree is rocking it hey everybody it shall be with a chick plus three welcome i hope that you are all doing fabulous and enjoying your summer wherever and whatever you are up to and i hope that you are healthy and well but I know you are here to see the Dollar Tree treasure. So we're going to get right to this Dollar Tree haul. I hope you'll join me. What do you say? Let's go. think this is absolutely adorable and guess what guys the name of this product is adore look at that how funny is that this is by k7 design group so i've never seen this line at the dollar tree before and was i ever excited to find it i mean how cute are these six little paper clips and these are so sweet i don't know i feel like these could be turned into barrettes uh scarf clips little magnets for your fridge in fact the dollar tree sells those awesome little button size magnets so what i'm thinking of doing is gluing one of those on the back of this putting it on my fridge and then little appointment cards the paper clip part will hold so i'll have this adorable paper clip magnet on my fridge to like hold my dental card reminder right you those little appointment cards i thought that would be a really fun use for these so when i saw them i just literally like snatched this off of the rack like so fast i couldn't believe it and right beside those sweet paper clips were these. Look at this. Now, I absolutely love these little fidget pop snaps. I have one that hangs on my purse. And when I'm sitting waiting at an appointment or I'm a passenger in the car, I find myself playing with it and popping it all the time. So when I saw this little beauty here, look at the extra you get this is a notepad do you see that a spiral notepad it is called pop snap notebook and this is the manufacturer is seen s-i-e-n so seen sheen i'm not really positive but how sweet is that so i got this little red heart because 
I know this is a little nuts, but when I saw it, I was thinking, oh, wouldn't this be a cute little, like, Valentine's Day gift for one of my grands? So I honestly do not know if I will keep it, uh, you know, like, socked away until next February 14th. But I just really loved the red heart. And then this one spoke to me, too, because of the color. This is, like, my favorite color, and this is kind of like a slice of pizza, or you could put it that way. It could be an arrow, a tree, and again, it's the little spiral bound notebook, Royal RD Deluxe. So pop, snap, and they had some other designs and colors in these. Uh, there was not a disappointing design in the bunch. I thought they were all so adorable. All right, now these next items, the same thing. This was a brand new find, and I love the name of it. It's called Crazy Go Nuts. How funny is that? The Super Delicious Food Snack. So these are all natural gourmet walnuts, and these are banana flavored. So it says on the back that they're California walnuts and if you like banana bread you'll love this fan favorite it is a product of the usa manufactured by crazy go nuts in fresno california this whole little packet is 180 calories and what was fabulous fabulous about this is that it is zero sodium zero sodium in here do you know how hard that is to find on like a nut snack product so we got this one the crazy go bananas or the crazy go nuts <laughs> banana walnuts and then look at these crazy go nuts maple walnuts oh does not that sound absolutely delicious and again zero sodium in this i think that's fabulous and i think this may be my favorite coconut walnuts this is 210 calories the zero milligrams of sodium these are non-gmo they're vegan they are gluten free um so 210 calories in the coconut one the maple one is 200 calories and then the banana is the lowest at 180 so i thought this was a really super fun new find and i was really excited to pick these up um so that bill and i can give them a try because we happen to love nuts now this next product i actually have seen this once before but it is a brand new first time purchase for us and to tell you the truth it's something that i had been avoiding not quite like the plague, but I had been avoiding it. And so I was really rather shocked when Bill was like, no, I want to get this. So we shall see Morinaga, Morinu Silken Tofu, because I was a little bit like tofu from the Dollar Tree. I don't know. Tofu um, is not one of my favorite things. I will eat it certain ways. But it does say that it is proudly made in the USA. It is 12.3 ounces, non-GMO, gluten-free, actually um, parve also there. So let's see, one slice is 50 calories. Sodium is only 25 milligrams, 6 grams of protein, so that's pretty darn good. And total sugars are zero, also no added sugar. Um, so it just says that you cut, you lift these flaps here, right there on either side. Just cut it with scissors and open it up. So it feels pretty it feels nice and solid feels like tofu that i have purchased in the past uh, from the grocery store so we'll come up with something give this a try i would love to know if any of you have 
purchased and tasted this Dollar Tree tofu or if you have found it at other stores and tried it and what is your favorite way to prepare tofu because that I really need some help with. I think I need it somehow like deep fried. I have no idea if there are any air fryer recipes for tofu, but if anybody can steer me in the right direction for something like that, I would love to know because um, how good would it be to do something simple in the air fryer, but get this nice and crispy, and then maybe it will taste more like cheese, which is, of course, I think my favorite food product on the planet. And speaking of <laughs> favorite food products, I picked these up, but well, now all I can do is show you the empty wrappers. Chips Ahoy happen to be some of my absolute favorite cookies. This was the Big Bag Nabisco Mini Chips Ahoy Chewy Cookies. It says you got two and a half servings in this whole bag. Well, as you can see, just like any shopping, if you do it when you're hungry, you're going to be in trouble. I was in the Dollar Tree. I was hungry. I bought these, and before I was home, the bag was gone. But two and a half servings in here if you eat four cookies in one sitting. The whole bag, 380 calories, uh, 31 grams of sugar, 3 grams of protein, and 230 milligrams of sodium. But that is, again, if you eat the whole bag, of course, which I did. I don't recommend doing it because I did feel a little bit sickish afterwards and, you know, had that, like, guilt, like, why did I just eat all that? But um, i do it again. So I grabbed those. And then I also picked these up, and sadly, once again, I have to show you an empty wrapper, but at least I did not eat this on the ride home, too, but I did eat it, and it's the King Size Nutter Butter Cookies there. So you got eight cookies in here for the $1.25. Now, I have to tell you guys, is this the case always now with Nutter Butters that they're just round cookies. When I was a kid, these were shaped like a peanut, and I loved that. It was like a big peanut-shaped cookie, and that's what I thought I was getting. I should have realized because the shape of the package was is just like a tube, but did Nutter Butter stop making the peanut-shaped Nutter Butter cookies? Or if I was to buy them in the grocery store, would I still be able to find that? So these were just round circles, but they still were very tasty. And again, I ate all eight of those. At least it was a separate day than from when I ate these. Um, but they were delicious. So if you like Nutter Butter cookies, you can find them at the Dollar Tree. And now Bill has a little bit more sophisticated palette than I do, and he picked these up. Mariani, and these are the Pitted Prunes. Now, this is in a resealable bag. They are a product of either the USA, Chile, or Argentina. So I guess probably depending what season, you know, that prunes are in and where, this uh, Mariani company could be sourcing them from either of those three places. You get five ounces in here, and it says in the bag, three and a half servings, and get this, one serving is eight or nine of these prunes, and they're a good size. And so 100 calories are in that, zero milligrams of sodium, so we thought this was a really good find for a dollar twenty-five at the Dollar Tree. I had never seen these before at any of our Dollar Trees, so this was a first-time purchase. So we did get those, and then that same company they had the pitted dates, and in this you get two servings per container. Each serving is six to seven dates. So you get 12 to 14 dates in here, 110 calories if you eat 
half a dozen dates. So to me, that seems like a lot. Zero milligrams of sodium and cholesterol, 25 grams of sugar and uh, dietary fiber is three grams. And now on this, it says that it is either a product of the USA, Tunisia, or Algeria. So I, again, probably wherever dates are in season, depending what time of year, where Mariani gets them from, it could be any one of those three countries. But we have definitely seen these products for sale at the grocery store. So we thought for $1.25, it was a really good find. And this next product I was excited for because it's funny. When I was a kid, I was not a fan of coconut. And now I feel like I can't get enough of it. This is the Azul brand, which I particularly really like and this is distributed by Mara International Foods out of East Brunswick, New Jersey and the ingredients in this little bag are 94% coconut, 5% sugar and 1% salt. So you truly really are getting, you know, actual coconut. It says that it's a natural product, 100% natural, they claim, and vegan. If you were to eat this whole packet, which they're calling one serving, it would be 240 calories and 166 milligrams of sodium, 2 grams of sugar, 6 grams of dietary fiber. But um, to me, this has a good amount in it that I love to use this sprinkled as a salad topper. Just a nice uh, mixed green salad with some strawberries, some blueberries, some cheddar cheese, a little sprinkling of these coconut chips on top, and it just adds that crunch and that sweetness. Oh, so good. It just... I don't know when you can put those little things on salad when you can put those little things on salads that just gives it that little extra pizzazz and boosts the flavor of it it really makes it like a tasty delicious meal that you don't just feel like you know oh you're grazing on grass <laughs> you know what i mean i actually look forward to my salads in the summer they're so quick they're easy you don't heat the kitchen up so this on a salad guys i have to tell you is an absolutely fabulous product and just so you are aware it is a product of thailand and a nice long shelf life this is suggested best if used by march of 2023 so i will be having this all used up by the end of the summer so i was really pleased to find this and now i'm thinking i probably should have grabbed two because this isn't something that I'm always able to find. There's no guarantee that I can walk into the Dollar Tree and pick this up, sadly. This next item that I bought, I have purchased t-shirts at the Dollar Tree before, but I was really excited because I found V-neck ones. So these are Fruit of the Loom. You can see there, they're marked $2.97. I think these are just like what is sold at Michael's that even on sale would probably be what, like um, two for $5 or something. I don't think they would ever go as low as $1.25. And so these are perfect. Um, you just can't beat it. I mean, this is a kid's extra small, but my Dollar Tree has these t-shirts all the way up through like adult 3Xs. And I love this shade of blue. So I picked that one up. And then also um, the V-neck in just a solid black. I thought you can't go wrong with black, right? Although in my house, I don't know, because we got a lot of pet hair and, uh, a lot of white pet hair <laughs> so I don't know but I got it anyways and then this is probably my favorite one and it is the v-neck in this really nice charcoal gray 
and again fruit of the loom so brand name there i thought that was a fabulous find it's time to draw the winner of the 4,000 subscriber giveaway good luck everybody you can see we have over 234 entries Congratulations, Karen. I will put my email here. Send me off your address, please, so that I can get your box of Dollar Tree goodness out in the mail to you as soon as possible. And thank you, everybody. I have more viewer friend photos that I am so excited to share with you all. This project is open to everyone. I would love it if you would send me your photos too. And they can be Dollar Tree related. They don't have to be. Anything you want to share, crafts that you're working on, photos of your pets. We love to see it all. I will include my email at the bottom here so that you can send me off some photos and then I can share those in an upcoming video and of course my friends as always until next time please be well